Okay. So, uh, okay, so I'm back. Um, computer crashed early in the evening, but it was all right because I had to go to work anyway. But after eight hours and taking some time to think about uh, what transpired at Helena Cell and my first rant, by the way, please excuse the F-bombs. I am so... I'm so just, I'm just so confused with the wrestling landscape and its community and as well as the, 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 just the individuals who watch wrestling and still find a way to make everything just ridiculous. I, I actually was, I went to work and I, I went on all the Facebook pages that I follow and I just, just unfollowed. I'm, I'm still part of the groups. I just can't see them for the next week or so because you, Daniel Bryan says it best when he says fickle. You guys are fickle. I, I'm, I'm coming to grips with the fact that nothing pleases you guys. Nothing. Nothing makes you happy. You guys have been sitting there pining for storylines with WWE. And you finally got one in your face and you're not even letting it develop. You're not even letting it go through the, through the motions, go through the bases. All you guys are doing is just nitpicking because your favorite guy at the moment didn't go over or you don't understand the finish you're not even letting the social media aspect or or, or the monday night raw show explain what happened you're already at arms with pitchforks and torches ready to go and burn WWE down. AEW. AEW. As I said in my earlier rant, was did I like the finish? Not really. I thought it I my I, I thought the way my finish would have worked better where you just threw everything on top of Bray, let Seth cover him for the pin, and then start feeling you know worrisome about what he just did have him go through the rubble quickly trying to get him out just to make sure that he, he's still alive and when he finally gets through everything that he went through bray sticks his arm through and hits him with the mandible claw and he comes out of the rubble and I, that that i that i, I would have went with uh the stoppage after reading uh, a few people uh, there's, there's there was a there was a few people who who were at least insightful and optimistic of how the story was is, is being played out. And um, I shared one to the faith, uh, to the, the Temporal Tabloid Facebook page where the referee, as I spoken about earlier, is more involved than you think, especially when you hear him telling, um, Seth, don't do this. Don't do this. You know, and it's part of Seth coming to grips that he is battling something that he cannot defeat. So he has to take it to a next level, next measure, right? But you guys are so hyped up on just what the gimmick is with the fiend that you're not even looking inside of what the, the, the fiend is. I am, I'm a Batman fan. Batman is my greatest superhero of all time. You'll see it on the shows sometimes where I'll be wearing a Batman shirt or I'll have Batman memorabilia all over the place, whatever the case may be. And if you really pay attention to what the Fiend is, the Fiend is basically an augmentation of the Joker. If you look at the mask, the mask is from the New 52 in which the Joker rips his own face or what he gets his he gets his face removed and 
puts it back on via a mask. And if you look at the play in which Bray is doing with it, you saw the sledgehammer that came out. Uh, the whole uh, getting into Seth's mind, it's, it's, it's as if the Joker is going head to head with Batman, trying to make Batman go against his code, which is Batman's code is not to kill or not to use guns and still be successful in his crime fighting. And in the way Seth is the fiend's Batman, silly as it sounds, but true. But you guys wouldn't get it. You, you're not getting it because you want instant gratification. You want instant satisfaction. If the fiend would have won, you'd have gotten your pop and then what? Where do we go from there? You have a demonic, psychotic, sociopath as your champion. And then what? Where do you go from there? And this is what I tried to explain to you guys earlier. Whereas many of you guys don't even understand how to be creative. You don't know what it is to take one storyline to the next storyline. You're not even letting this play out. This this could be a, a, such a bigger story. You could have the referee talking to, to, to Charlie Caruso in the back explaining why he stopped the fight. It wasn't a DQ. It's not a disqualification. It's a stoppage. It's a stoppage. It's like when you're watching an MMA fight or a boxing match. It's a stoppage under the referee's con uh, disclosure. They have the right to, if in, in case it goes too far, they have the right to stop the match. Then the ref can discuss this on social media or on raw or whatever. If that's the way that they play it out. If it were me booking it, that's how, that's how I would book it because you want to give it that sports feel. Get the referee involved. Uh, you also have so many different levels in which you could take this. As I mentioned earlier, this could be a gauntlet in which now Seth is going to be running through because since he couldn't take him out in hell in the cell, the fiend is going to come after him again. And then it'll be a, another gimmick match. It'll be a, 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 co a, co a, a coffin match or it'll be a buried alive match. Or it'll be a family friendly Firefly Funhouse match. Who knows? Like you, it is so much that you can do with this. But once again, you're not giving it a chance. Why? Because you're not instantly gratified or satisfied. It makes it tough to be a wrestling fan and be a part of a community and shout out to all my peoples that are in um, the Turnbuckle tabloid pages because I'm glad that we haven't been getting a lot of that feedback actually the community has been in, in, in that group has been more of a discussion rather than a debate it's also a thing to where like I mentioned earlier you guys sat there and you want storylines WWD doesn't put storylines together everything that ends, it ends up being shit and they finally got something that's wetting your taste buds and you're still not pleased. Then everybody goes, oh, Vince, this is bullshit, Vince, this is bullshit. You do know that Bray Wyatt is the one that pretty much has his hand in what's going on with the Firefly Funhouse. This is all his creation. This is all his, his booking. And they just they just giving them the cablage. Uh, you, you're just upset because the fiend didn't win. He, in 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 reality, maybe he wasn't supposed to win. Maybe you're looking at it in a in a in a in a in a, in a light in which that everybody has to be the put over when you're not even looking at the storyline. Maybe Bray's whole 
his whole process was to get inside Seth's head and defeat him mentally. He know he knows he could beat him physically. Maybe he wants to break him down. Maybe this next turn will be he attacks Becky. We don't know what this is going to be. But automatically with social media and, and, and as quick as we can go on and bash a, bash a product, you never, you never put into consensus of what can be. I can say the same thing about all elite. You fans really, you really forcing my hand not to like this product. And I really want to have options. And I'm not going to go on a long rant on this. I'm probably almost like 20 minutes on this one already. But I just want to give you an idea of what's going on. You're getting, in a week, you're getting the Baskin Robbins 31 flavors of wrestling. And WWE is giving you three of them. Not including NXT UK. But on main networks, you're getting the Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. But in wrestling in a whole. But for WWE, they have about like seven flavors. I'll give you an example. Raw will be giving you more of the entertainment show. Right? NXT will be giving you the wrestling you guys want. Wrestling. And SmackDown will be the sports field. You have one promotion that's giving you three different looks of wrestling. Maybe Raw is not your flavor. Maybe SmackDown is not your flavor. Maybe NXT is not your flavor. But at least you have whatever is available there. Or maybe just WD, WWE is not for you, which is fine. I know people who are not that, who's not into that. All Elite. They're a promotion that has to do all things in one because they don't have these three different outlooks to, <coughs> excuse me, they don't have these outlets to share different styles of their wrestling. You can get the tag teams or the death matches or hardcore guys or the, the luchadors and all that. You, could, you, you wish that you could spread them out on di different shows, but at this point right now, All Elite, does not have that yet <coughs> right now they're just building and banking on one show and they're gonna throw everything in the pot that's gonna be their um their 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 potluck just throw everything in one thing and you guys are not helping me to enjoy this tuesdays we're gonna get a nwa power which is going to be a classic look on old school wrestling with the studio show, with the 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 staged uh, promo spots and all that. It reminds me back in the eighties when I watched wrestling, and I and I'm looking forward to it. But it's going to have uh, old school, new school guys. It, it's I'm I'm excited to see that. It's going to be a fun look. MLWs on Saturdays, in which I enjoy. You're also going to have Impact coming uh coming on tuesdays on access you're having a i i wanted to name the show this but i couldn't name it uh because who knows what the fuck apple would have said about it but you're gonna have a wrestling gangbang every week and it's of different styles and genres of wrestling but if you're not instantly grad uh, uh, uh satisfied and not giving gratification at the moment. Then why watch wrestling? Wrestling is about the story, the battles. Even I go to indie shows and there's stories in indie shows. These guys went head to head in different promotion promotions. They're gonna finalize it here at junkyard wrestling foundation whatever but you know they have somewhat of storylines they're given they use social media as their 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 avenue to to share their stories
why watch wrestling if you guys aren't going to let things play out? And all you real dirtbags at the arena in Sacramento who were chanting AEW, why buy a ticket? Why buy a ticket? You cheat all the way. You cheat for everything else. And sure, you actually could help change the landscape because you actually could have helped to make Seth really look like the heel in this because when Seth was beating down the Fiend and the Fiend was making the comeback, you guys were popping for it, which is great. But then the outcome doesn't come the way that you want and all of a sudden, let's go to the next, the, the, new, the new kid on the block. I hope it doesn't happen. But I can't wait for the day when that new kid on the block that you thought was going to be cool and fancy. They got the new toys. They got a, a group of a group of kids that, are, that, that, that look fun to hang out with. I can't wait for the day that you find out that that new kid on the block is really a fucking dickhead. And it's just about to use you for everything that you are and then spit you the fuck out. Because that's what you feel WWE does to you. Who's not to say that the big money man is not going to be doing the next one that's coming up the way is not going to do it to you either. All right. Rant over. Hope you guys watch uh, Raw tonight and maybe hopefully it plays out to something that we could we could enjoy and um um Turnbuckle Tabloid every week. Download, share, subscribe. All podcasting outlets, Spotify, Google Play Music, wherever. And let me in.